I started to make a new video today and I'm really rusty on TIG welding, so what do you do there? Just run a bead. To shake the rust off, I'm gonna run a bead on the edge of 11 gauge cold rolled. We'll talk a little bit about high speed pulse because I really like high speed pulse on an edge or near an edge. Let's do it. I'm gonna be using a number eight clear cup with 20 CFH of argon today with a 332 2% lanthanated electrode and a 1 16th ER70S6 filler wire. I've cleaned the metal. It's cold rolled, but I cleaned it anyway. It's always a good practice. Getting ready to light up here on the very corner. Right away you can hear the high speed pulse. It almost sounds like alternating current, like if you were welding aluminum. You can't really necessarily see it here on the film. It, there is a slight flicker when you're when you're doing this under the helmet. It's just not annoying to look at like say four pulses a second or something like that. Let's take a quick look at the settings and we'll get right back to the welding. Okay, so I had the machine set 124 amps. I don't need near that much, but when you pulse, you need more amps than what you think. You get a you get an average of your background current and your peak current. I'm on about 39 pulses a second, give or take, 30% background amps. And my post flow is set about 7 or 8 because I just don't need that much. And like I said, even though I set the machine amperage at 124, my average output is in the mid-30s. Around I peaked out around 37. But notice right here, this is the biggest difference with high-speed pulse on an edge. The edges of that weld aren't just rolling over and melting those corners off. They're kind of sticking, kind of sticking, standing up right where I put it. And that's the biggest difference for high-speed pulse. It's not like night and day. You can definitely do this edge weld without pulse at all. But it just gives you a little bit of an advantage, a little edge. You can daydream for a second and lose concentration and still not go overboard and roll the bead way over the corners or anything like that. It's another tool in the tool belt is all I'm saying and I like to have a lot of options and according to my good buddy JD options can make you money. Alright well after having run one of these for arc shots and one of them for this shot right here I feel like I'm kind of getting back in the groove again. So now I'm ready to shoot another video. Here are the settings all in a nutshell. But before we leave, let's, let's take a look at some low speed pulse at two pulses per second. I'm set at 142 amps here. This is an 11 gauge outside corner joint. Background current still at 30. I'm, this one I'm using lay wire. I'm just laying a 332 wire right in that groove of an outside corner joint and just running nice and smooth over it. Not necessarily the recommended method for an outside corner joint because you can get a little bit of lack of fusion with lay wire but it sure is easy. Hey, I'd appreciate if you go over to my online store at weldmonger.com and check things out. That is how I support these videos. Thanks for watching.